Behind me is Howard Hughes Center. This is a prominent property in Los Angeles. We're right near LAX Airport. This is Class A office space, and recently we installed 3M window film on every window in all of these buildings. There's five buildings on this campus. You can see one directly behind me right here. There's another building right here, Sony building. There's the Pepperdine University over here. And then around this corner are two other buildings. I'll do a little drone footage here to show you those uh, properties. Now, why would they want to invest in applying window film to all those windows? Well, for a couple of reasons. One, it dramatically reduces the, the heat that comes into the building. And when you reduce the heat load in the building, you reduce the HVAC or the air conditioning costs dramatically. That's where the energy savings comes from. That we call it KWH savings or the kilowatt hour savings. And it's significant with window film. Another reason why they would install window film is for tenant comfort. Tenants feel more comfortable. The building has a better reputation as being a comfortable place to work. Less glare, less hot and cold spots, those temperature imbalances where it's burning up by the windows and freezing over uh, away from the windows. Window film solves those problems right away. Uh, window film is also instantly implementable and you get an instant gratification because the KWH drops the second that we complete the building. Another reason is compliance with Los Angeles and California's stringent energy laws. EBEWE, Title 24, these are all uh, legislation that has teeth and building owners are feeling the pressure now. They have timelines where they have to comply and reduce the energy savings. Another reason is we're doing it as a good steward of this great city of Los Angeles. Los Angeles has aggressive goals. We want to be the greenest big city in America and we're going toe to toe with Washington DC, Los Angeles. We want the trophy on our mantle, not, not on their mantle. It's kind of like the World Cup, keep passing it back and forth. So we have aggressive energy reduction goals. We want to reduce the energy demand on the grid, have more LEED certified buildings, uh, more net zero buildings. And there's another thing that we do in, the, in my industry, and that is we resurface the spandrel. Now this building has some pretty nice looking spandrel. You can see right here this, this green area between the windows. This is a view window. This is the spandrel. This is view window. This is like a concrete type substrate material. This is a view window. So we'll do the view windows oftentimes on the inside, but a lot of building owners, they want to change this color here because their building looks dated. And in a very highly competitive real estate market, you need to have a building that looks modern. It needs to look cool. I mean, we can do designs. We can put lettering all across the whole for surface of the building. We can change the colors here. We can do a staggered pattern in here. We have designers and architects that will, will do the, the schematic, the layout. We also do digital mock-ups. Uh, these are all really important things that are very low cost to implement and they can really boost up uh, your occupancy. We have some buildings that have gone from 50% to 100% occupancy just due to energy retrofits and changing the aesthetics of the outside of the building. You don't need to change all the glass in the building to get energy savings and to change the look of the building. Another thing we do is we paint the mullions. That's the metal in between the windows. A lot of times that gets really worn and looks terrible. There are certain methods to do this. You can't just hire a painter and hire a window film guy and hire a, someone to change the spandrel color. It has to be done in a systematic approach. Another thing that usually gets done in the facade resurfacing is the sealing around the windows and the spandrel glass. It gets old, and if we're going to come in and resurface and change the look of the building, might as well go ahead and reseal and waterproof it. That way your whole system is going to last for many years trouble-free, and you don't have vendors going back a few years later messing up some of the, the good work that was done. It should all be done at once, if at all possible, if you can fit it into the budget. One last thing, and then I'm gonna go through some of the case studies we've done here in Los Angeles, is that when you're looking at your ROI, don't just look at the energy savings. Look at occupancy, look at tenant retention, um, tenant comfort and the reputation of your building and the rent rates that you can get. All of that factors into your ROI. It's not just about the energy savings. There's a lot of purple money to be had from a project like this. There was an energy study done by the Department of Energy and another one done by Console Energy. Window film was in the top four energy measures that were most likely to produce the best result and to be successful. So window film isn't something that's kind of questionable anymore. If you've got old windows, the laws and just the, just the, the way the environment is, you're going to have to upgrade your windows. So that's, that's what we do. 
a couple of properties, and I'll, we'll show some photos of these properties. Century Plaza Towers, all of the windows in both towers, 300,000 square feet of glass, eight month payback. Think about the money that they're now able to reallocate instead of going to energy bills, or re reallocating that to more improvements around the property. Here we have Howard Hughes Center. We already talked about that. They had a 2.5 million KWH reduction. Uh, we've got 600 and 400 corporate point. Fixed all the bad spandrel, dramatically lowered the energy bills, improved tenant comfort over there. City National Plaza, downtown Los Angeles. We just completed a big window film project in those buildings. Watt Plaza, one of the first LEED certified buildings in Los Angeles. Now everyone's on the bandwagon. They were one of the first. They were real thought leaders in, in energy efficiency. And there's many, many more. Irvine Company, we've done a bunch of buildings on Newport Center Drive, 400, 500, 600, six, uh, 610. Uh, all these buildings have been retrofitted. Old, dated window film removed, new window film applied. Some buildings with dual pane windows are a candidate. It's not just single pane. We'll look at everything from the coatings to the thickness to the orientation of the building. We run the detailed energy analyses, uh, test panels, proof of technology. We'll dial you in and hopefully help you make your building the new energy efficient rock star in the neighborhood. After completing the Howard Hughes Center project, I received a very nice letter from the then property manager, Jan Church, and she writes, Dear Brad, having received our rebate check from LADWP, I'm prompted to write to you to express my sincere appreciation for the exemplary manner in which your company performed on the project, from the early phase testing, energy consulting, and value engineering to final completion. The organization of your team, their attention to detail, and the finished quality, all made for a seamless installation. It's always refreshing to work with a company that understands how and is dedicated to making such a large project go smoothly. Your continued and prompt communication throughout the project was appreciated and made for an efficient project. It also allowed us the opportunity to communicate installation schedules timely with our tenants and staff. Your continued support during and after the completion of the project with LADWP engineers and assisting with the rebate process was invaluable. In closing, I want to thank you personally for your efforts, which I greatly appreciate. Your commitment to making sure the client was satisfied with installation, service, and end result were a key component to the success of this project. Sincerely, Jan Church. Jan, thank you so much for this very nice letter, and it was a pleasure to work with you and your team. This was a big project, and it took a lot of effort on your part and a part of engineering and everyone involved. So a very heartfelt thank you from all of us here at Campbell. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and of course, comments are welcome. See you next time.